Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play f Zero X. So uh, back on standard mode and now it's time to take on the King Cup. Starting off with Firefield and I figured this time we'd go with uh, another one of the OGs. One of the originals we'll go with Pico, why don't we, with the Wild Goose. I really like that silver finish, so I'm gonna go with that. Looks pretty cool if you ask me. I actually prefer it over the green and yeah, I, I do like the orange too, but uh, I don't know, there's just something about that silver. It looks so sleek. I like it. And Wild Goose and Pico, you know, I, I like I like it. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good vehicle in my opinion, at least in this game. Uh, Wild Goose and GX. But let's not talk about that because uh, I, I could go on for a while. Thing if I run out of things to talk about, maybe I should talk about. But well, we already lost the racer. Okay, that that's not I talk about. We just lost the racer. And I got boost power. Yeah. Already up in the top seven, so that's actually not bad. Considering it's the keep King Cup and all. This is where the difficulty really turns up, like I talked about in the novice playthrough with Billy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is where you gotta be really careful. So, watch that energy meter. I do not want to crash and burn, that's for sure. The only problem is this is the only place where I can get energy. And it's right at the start. Like, are you kidding me? What were they thinking with that? Well, then against F0, I guess it's supposed to be kind of dangerous. Oh man, a lot of crashing there. That was not good. All right, behind Black Shadow and Doctor Stewart and Samurai Gordon. This is unacceptable. I gotta catch up. Come on, at least second place. It's the first race. I can't get lower than second on the first race. All right, got it. Lost the Samurai Goro, but that's fine. Because I can just smash him next race, and it'll be fine. Crazy thing, I'm starting off with only second place, huh? But no, th th this is a tough one. Firefield's tough. Silence Two-Way Road, also kind of tough. Pretty much all of them in the King... All the ones in the King Cup are kind of difficult. But, uh, yeah. So it looks like, uh... Oh, got him already, yes! Oh, that's how you start a race, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you start a race. If only you could start every Mario Kart race like that by taking out your enemies, that'd be perfect. Oh, I just take out Black Shadow too? Heck yeah! Oh, no, I didn't. Well, I still got another kill, and he's still flashing, so there's still a chance he might explode. Looks like I got another racer. Yes! He blew up. All right, four racers down. I wonder who else I took out. I don't know. Whatever the case, point is the competition, main competition, has been taken out. So thank goodness for that. Now we don't have to deal with them. Looks like, uh, I think that's, uh, Stuart. Golden Fox. Yeah, that's my rival now. And considering I finished above him before, I'm not too worried about it. It's tempting to smash him, but nah. We'll, we'll let him keep going. He's not a threat yet, so I'll let him keep going. Especially because uh, this one is really hard to place first on, in my opinion. Like, this is definitely one of the harder ones in the game. There's a reason I'm not boosting much right now. Not because of a lack of energy, but because of a lack of trust in myself. This this is really one of the harder courses. For Wait, what? How'd you get so far ahead, Stuart? What? I didn't, I didn't see him pass me. What? Okay, we gotta fix that. Might just have to smash this golden fox now, but uh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I got to man's in first, and like I was going to say at the beginning, it looks like a uh, Samurai Goro's uh, second in command, uh, Antonio Guster, was the one that fell off. What are the odds? I wonder if uh, Samurai Goro had anything to do with that last race. I doubt it, but I don't know. But uh, fourth place, not not good, not good. On the other hand, though, I took out two of my rivals, so I really can't complain too much. Oh man, I'm behind Octoman now. How fitting, because I, I was originally going to do the King Cup with Octoman, but after a few tries, I'm just like, okay, this isn't working, I'm going to try someone else. Tried it with Wild Goose, and sure enough, worked out just fine. Which is weird, because uh, Octoman's actually my main in uh, GX, because uh, just my personal opinion, Deep Claw is one of, if not the best machine in uh, f GX. Now, I know, technically speaking, speedrun-wise, no, it's not the best. But it's the best for a beginner like me, what can I say? Nope. 
Looks like my rival just. Whoa, what? Five people just flew right off. Can I put this on the right difficulty? This is standard, right? Why are more people dying than on novice? That's weird. I see Black Shadow that had me a lot, as well as Dr. Stewart, but uh, we did take out Black Shadow last race, so I probably shouldn't be too concerned about him. I'm more cons concerned about Samurai Goro, who's in first right now. Even if I did smash him last time, he can still catch up, which would be no good, so let's not let him catch up. Alright, out of the way, Stewart. You're a cool character and all, but you got your time to shine already. Right, get out of my way. You too, Black Shadow. Oh, it looks like, uh, looks like Leon's in the front. That's cool. Don't see him in the front too often, especially in GX. I wish that wasn't the case, because he's a cool character. What can I say? I like Leon. And Tin Wink Wink. Oh, man. Five behind. Are you kidding me? Wow, I'm sucking this race. I'm sucking this whole cup so far. As I always say, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't beat him, smash him. That's what I will do if I have to. I will absolutely do that, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be catching up to Samurai Goro or Gomar and Shio or I think that's Antonio. No, that's not Antonio. That's uh, Roger Buster. Or, or maybe just Roger. I don't know. And Drac, the Q, or Drake, however his name is pronounced. James Cloud and Leon, yep. At least I got seventh and beat Michael Chain, so. Yay! At least I'm not one of the six that fell off. Ready for that. Man, that track is really difficult to get first on, but look at that. I'm in first place now. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So you don't have to get first every time. They're so generous at the point that you don't have to get first every time. You just gotta know who to smash and when to smash them. That probably sounded weird than it should have been. Y you know what I mean. Crush their cars. That That's what I mean. Ironic concern, I said I want. I was thinking about doing a Smasher Pass video. Which, I'm still working on that, by the way, for anyone curious. I think I've decided on uh, who, uh, what, what topic I want to do first, and uh, I won't be filling up filming my short, uh, short introduction for that before I actually get to the actual video, especially because uh, I do plan on bringing in a guest for that. But that's serious, just so that way it's not just me, it's not as uncomfortable and awkward so uh, yeah we'll talk about that when we get to it though someday hopefully sooner rather than later I, I gotta dig out my old camera first though cuz uh, well I shouldn't say camera camcord I don't really use the dang thing anymore so yeah go figure I don't know where it's at I'm not, I'm not talking about the track at all right now am I well yeah we remember this track right remember me playing earlier on stair or not stair but on novice yeah, good times. Still say those strips are too thin. Why would they do that? I don't get that. Okay, we got a problem. Octoman and Samurai Goro in the front. Unacceptable. I gotta catch up. I can't finish too far behind again. You know, seventh place, I can accept that once, but not twice. I wonder who I took out. No idea. Anyways, I gotta catch up though, especially because one of them is my rival. Oh no, is it Octoman or Goro though? I don't know. Out of the way, Biorex. You already had your time to shine. It's Pico's turn to shine. Oh boy, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be a photo finish, I'm sure. Oh jeez, oh jeez! Out of energy! Oh thank goodness! Oh no, no, no! Oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. So, uh, yeah, I did blow up, but since I... And I blew up again. So, how am I going to compete in the next race? I don't know. Anyway, since I did cross the finish line, it does count, so I did not cheat there. Man, I was so close to catching Samurai Goro. I can't believe that. This guy's being a thorn in my side, seriously. Thank goodness he's gone already. Bye, Goro. Don't come back. Yeah, it's here we go with uh, the half pipe, White Land 2. Can I just say I like this half pipe a lot more than the one GX? I swear, despite it coming out on the GameCube, that one seems to be a bit more glitchy than this one. 
I don't know what it is, but whenever I get to the edge of the half pipe in that one, I always seem to fall through it. Yes, you heard me right. Fall through it. Like, what? How does that work? This is on the GameCube. It should not be glitching like that, and yet, there it is. So, not a big fan of the uh, half pipe in GX. Spoiler alert, there's a half pipe in, half pipe in GX. Hopefully, I'll get to show it off someday. Man, we lost six racers again. Seriously, is it just me or do we lose more racers on standard mode than on novice? I, I just find that weird. I'm not complaining, granted. Fewer racers I have to deal with, the better. I just find it weird. There, right, gotta be careful here. Do not want to go flying off the half pipe, that's for sure. Don't want to be one of the seven that fell off, no siree. See if I can't catch up. Uh, come on! Yes! All right, take that, Octo Man. Finally got first. Yes! It only took five freaking races, but I did it! Yes! And I'm totally not gonna get first on the last one, but uh, oh well. You see, three jumps to doom. Go figure. With a name like Jumps to Doom, you probably want to avoid them. Anyways, last race. Let's do this. Alright. No way any of these losers are going to catch me now. Especially not Samurai Goro since I smashed him last race. Now, he done got a prayer in the world. All I gotta do is finish and I win. Fantastic. And yeah, Mute City 3 is definitely a fun track in my opinion. Again, I don't know which Mute City is my personal favorite. Like, the first one is the tutorial one, but it is well designed and still fun to replay, in my opinion. Mute City 2, pretty good too. Mute City 3, also really good. It's like, literally, there's not a bad Mute City in this game, and that's awesome. Gotta love that. Yep, got boost power, time to boost away from the competition. Boost to win, so to speak. Like Sonic the Hedgehog or something like that. There, yeah, anyways. In seventh, I have, you know, like like I said, I don't even have to finish him first. I just have to win or survive, and then I win because I'm pretty sure none of the point totals are even close to me. So as long as I survive, I win by default. So I don't even have to try that hard. I still will just for entertainment purposes because it would be cool to say, yeah, I got first place twice in the King Cup on standard mode, but it's really not necessary. That's why I will say, if you're having trouble with any of the higher difficulties, guys, crush the competition, literally. Just slam into their vehicles and make them spin out and blow up. Be interesting if they ever add that into Mario Kart, but I highly doubt it. Would be cool if they had like a mode for that. Before anyone says, uh, night, there's battle mode. That don't count. I'm not talking about battle mode with items when not. When we just slam into each other like bumper cars or something like that. That'd be fun. I kind of want to see that happen in the next Mario Kart now, but I doubt it's going to happen. Anyways, I got fourth. Oh well, that's fine. I already win, so... Nintex? What, did they just not want to put another Nintendo sign up there or something? Weird. But anyways, I win. Yay! Congratulations. Only ended up getting first once on this entire cup, and yeah, I still got first. Let that show you just how useful it is to take out your opponents and, you know, make sure they don't gain points for that race. Because trust me, it does help. And how fitting that uh, Pika's got so many kills considering he is a hitman and all. Still can't believe I got 7th on Sector B, that sucks. But hey, second on Red Canyon 2, that's good, and White Land 2 stole it, which was awesome. But overall, good enough. I'm happy with it. And I got five kills, so that's fantastic. It's so uh, time to just watch the rest of the award ceremony. Take a look at Samurai Goro's uh, sprite and Octoman sprite. Ironically, the two characters I'll be using to show off all the uh, extras in this game, so what are the odds of that? There's Samurai Goro's. Yep, yeah, alright. It's Octoman, very cool character. I love Octoman, definitely one of my favorites. And there's Pico. Wonder what he's gonna say. Let's find out.
What a joke. I was hoping for some competition. Well, uh, considering you only got first once, does that really count? not count as competition? I don't know, but cool firework. But anyways, folks, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later.